Lifting Up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. Hi, this is Tim from Morial Radio and Morial TV, here live with James Jacob Prash. Uh, Jacob, uh, one of the believers said, based on Revelations 2.20, is the spirit of Jezebel still active and alive in the world today? Even in Christian ministry, there are many women who will say that they are under their hu husband's covering, but go ahead and do what they want to do, and they're cruel and controlling. Can we attribute that to a Jezebel spirit? Okay. With respect, our questioner is confusing the disease with the symptom. The disease with the symptom. In medical science or dentistry, a fever can be symptomatic of hundreds and hundreds of different kinds of infections. Hundreds, actually thousands, but hundreds that are fairly common and dozens that are very common. When you see a marriage that's out of order and a wife is not in submission to her husband, that may be a symptom of the Jezebel spirit, but it may be a symptom of something else problematic in her life, in his life, in their marriage. The Jezebel spirit is the disease, not the symptom. Hebrews chapter 5, the husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church. It uses the analogy of matrimony to explain what's happening spiritually. The Jezebel spirit is when the church is not under the lordship of Jesus, much the same as when Israel was not under the lordship of Hashem, of the Lord. The marital relationship between Ahab and Jezebel illustrates this. She was a pagan woman from Phoenicia who was married to the king. You had this union between the religious and the political. Now that teaches a lot about what's going to happen in the last days. This ungodly union between organized religion and a corrupt political establishment. Has tremendous prophetic meaning for the future. Nonetheless, let's understand what happened. The woman used the king as a way to seduce the people. You see this replayed in the New Testament in the relationship between Herod and Herodias. Remember, she wanted the head of John the Baptist. Now, you see this pattern. Jezebel tried to get Ahab to kill Elijah. John the Baptist came in the spirit of Elijah. Yohanan Amatbil, John the Baptist came in the spirit of Elijah, and the wicked woman, once again, Herodias, got at her behest the king, Herod, to kill Elijah in the person of John. This teaches about what's going to happen in the book of Revelation. The corrupt religious system is going to use the corrupt political system to go after the people of God, and this is going to cause a conflict with the ministry of Elijah in the last days. Now, we explain these things in our book, Shadows of the Beast, at some length. It's a complicated issue. But understand, it's about spiritual seduction. The spirit of Jezebel is something spiritual. It's illustrated by the marital relationship between Ahab and Jezebel, but that's the illustration. Those who eat at Jezebel's table, Elijah complained. The equivalent of eating at Jezebel's table today is taking the Roman Catholic Eucharist, engaging in transubstantiation, the cannibalism of the Roman Mass. In Acts 15, cannibalism and the ritual consumption of blood are forbidden. Roman Catholicism teaches the wine is the protoplasmic blood of Jesus Christ, transubstantiated, 
under the mere appearances of wine based on Aristotle's debunked philosophy and, and misunderstanding of chemistry and physics, where something can be one thing but have the appearances of another, which they call accidents. It's all nonsense. It's completely disproven by science, but that's what the Roman Catholic Church teaches. When you engage in this cannibalism of the mass, you are drinking the cup of demons. You are eating food sacrificed to idols when you take the Roman Catholic communion. You are eating at Jezebel's table, as Elijah said. That's what Jesus was talking about in Revelation chapter 2. You tolerate the woman Jezebel, who beguiles, who seduces my servants. Jezebel has to do with spiritual seduction. The way it happens in a marriage is a reflection or an illustration of what's happening spiritually. But the meaning of the Jezebel spirit is not a marital problem where there's insubmission by the wife. The meaning of the Jezebel spirit is insubmission of the church to Christ or the church and Israel being spiritually seduced by false religion, by a demonic spirit working in the character of Queen Jezebel. Don't confuse the symptom with the disease. My name is Jacob Prash. Thank you so much for your question. God bless.